JKB back with another episode. Today I'm reviewing the Joy-Con Comfort Grip from Power Ray. So thank you to them for sending over the review unit. Also, if you like what you see here, definitely hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and share this on Facebook. It would mean a lot to me and it would help out the show. I want to hit 75,000 subs by the end of the year. I think we can do that. So also make sure you turn on your notifications because YouTube is shit out of luck. They're not helping me anymore with my subscription box. So hit the notifications and make sure that you get notified when I upload new videos. I'll be putting out a ton this week, so please do that. Let's get to the product. I open up the box as you do. You open it up and go, whoa, what's my neat little thing? It looks identical to the original. And you're wondering, why would they go out of their way to make this? Well, it's not until you take it out of the box and realize there's a rubberized backing on their version of the Joy-Con grip. And what's unique about it is it feels totally different than the one that comes with the system because of the inclusion of the rubberized backing. And that simply put is the only difference here other than one strange design choice. The original one doesn't have a sort of lip on the back of the controller itself where you slide the Joy-Cons in. This one does have a little bit of a horn where you kind of feel like you could rest your hands when you're not hitting the trigger buttons or the L in the right. Uh, it doesn't make sense to me why those are so protruding. I mean, they're just really coming out of the controller. However, I thought, okay, whatever. It feels weird, but let me put the Joy-Cons in and see you know, how this feels. So you slide them in just like you do with the original one. You've got your lighting bar to see what's uh, connected, of course. And it feels actually better than the original controller. I'll admit it, the rubber on the back of the controller does feel much better than the original one. Do you go out there and buy this if you want a, a second, you know, player using the Joy-Cons? Yeah, I'd probably go with this one over the original because it does feel better. But do you go out and replace your original one to go with something like this? I'm not too sure about that. I think it's more for a second player aspect thing. It's $14.99 US, but I will say this, the inclusion of the rubber backing does help. The only downfall to this controller, I wouldn't even say it's a downfall, but if you have big, gigantic hands, it's going to be a little tricky to get your finger in the back here to get the Joy-Con back out. But once you click the button in just a little bit, it does snap out right away. The rail system seems to be a very hard plastic. I'm not sure if it is plastic or not. I do think it is, so it's not metal. And other than that, it does feel like a solid quality item. I mean, Powerade has been sending over all sorts of things. I'm going to have another one coming up here. And they don't seem to be a cheap company. Uh, some of these things that I've got sent to me, I don't even review because, wow, are they crap or what. But Powerade seems to know what they're doing over there. And yeah, I would recommend this as well. I'm not saying that everybody needs to go out there and replace the Joy-Con grip that comes with the system. But if you need a second player or you're going to be playing Zelda for 75 hours straight, you might want to look into this because it does feel, it feels nicer in your hands. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this review, share it with your friends, share it with your Aunt Beru down on Tatooine. Thank you. See you on the next episode of JKB.